All right, it's time for Masterpiece of the Week. She said list, list this. Howdy, everybody. Hello. It is a beautiful Friday, a shout-out Friday, by the way. I did want to shout-out my cousin. Uh, her name's Avery. She uh, is an equestrian at SMU. She's and, a horse? Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, no, she's not. She rides horses. Oh. She jumps on them and stuff. Does those cool things. But she won a national championship did last weekend. Nice! So that was awesome. So congratulations to her on and a the horse? whole team. Yeah. What's her horse's yeah. name? Uh, I want to say it's Chaco. That could be completely wrong. That's a cool name. But, yeah. I should have looked it up. But, yeah. Anyway, so shout I out forgot. to her. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, shout out to. Yeah, yeah no, no, that's it. Yeah. Just, yeah. That's okay. what I'm saying. Yeah. I, I forgot <laughs> to shout out Tolo Bill Carlson. It's his birthday today, too. Oh, nice. Good shout outs right there, guys. Uh, we will start uh, on this masterpiece of the week with Kevin, in honor of Kevin. But I, I do want to apologize to baby Noah here. All right. He took a lot of unnecessary jabs in this one. But our baby is in the car, and I was like, I know, and that's why I didn't do it, read. and that's yeah. why I'm such read. a B. Yeah. Um, so, <laughs> there read. are, yeah, he can't read at all. He's just like, ah! <laughs> um, he's how frustrating like is that as a dad? <laughs> he's delightful, though. <laughs> Which he, this is why he's, he's, so, he's so proud of Brandon right now, going off to college, reading, you know, the ability to read, and I know it takes some time to learn to mm -hmm. read. All right, listen. Everybody has their own timeline. Dude, now I just got from Derek Holland. It's Casey Donahue's birthday today. Well, can, happy birthday to Casey, Casey Donahue. Are you kidding me? That got the girl. That's one of my favorite songs. That and Waiting on You to Kiss Me, obviously. And today's the day the Rangers started. So if you have this birthday, this is what's cool about Jake for his birthday, my son, is on the new hat is his birthday. That's oh, awesome. Yeah. So they have 421 on this hat. So if you are born on this day and you get one of the new Ranger hats, it will have your birthday on the side of the hat. And every person we just named can read. <laughs> we think. Fly, people what? fly. You don't know, hold on. Can your son read? I think. <laughs> I hope so. He got into Bishop Lynch at ninth grade. Yeah. So I Is would, that a requirement I there? I feel like he would have not been able to get in there yeah. through the testing if they're like, hey, uh, Dexter Manley, uh, we have a problem here. Do you remember him on Washington? Mm -hmm. He couldn't read. He couldn't read. He graduated Oklahoma State somehow. We're going to go to, uh, this one's a, a little bit of a throwback, uh, and Mike was talking a little bit about Udonis Haslam and whatnot. If Dirk's kid plays on the Dallas Mavericks, somehow Dwight Powell <laughs> will still be on the Mavericks. Ooh, time uh, to vote. And maybe gentlemen. starting. He might be starting still. He might be the player coach And we're going to hear, you know what? Stats don't define this player. Well, then what the hell does? <laughs> I read something from <laughs> somebody who's tied into the Mavericks pretty well, and uh, he already wrote team friendly contract for. Oh. I'm like, it just he's gonna be on the Mavericks. I don't know how many years it'll be, but honest, honestly, Dwight Powell will be a guy on the Mavs. I think for the next five years. I'm not saying he'll play a lot of minutes, but I do think Morale he has guy. a he has a place on the Dallas Mavericks roster for the next five years. <sighs> From the uh, 972 former, I just B have to deal with it. Former Bishop Lynch alum here from 2012. I can attest, you do not need to be able to read. Okay. Oh no, yeah, oh, that's good to know. Wow, wow, low requirement. I've seen for, for Bishop Lynch. <laughs> I don't, uh, he did do a winky face at the end of that text, so I'm not okay. really sure okay. what that means. Uh, Corey, you, you, you talked about uh, Mike yesterday. How he made it in, yeah. in an interesting way, but that dude made it. All right, and he was going to try everything he could to make sure he squeezed whatever he could out of it to be in it. Oh, man. Um, My body. Yeah, well, yeah, everything out of the... He was going to squeeze all the talent that he could out of yeah, himself. Yeah. Uh, he got to the big leagues, and he did everything he could to try really hard. My son made a joke the other day because somebody threw like a 90-mile-an-hour changeup. He's like, you didn't even throw your fastball that hard. <laughs> And I was like, yeah, Snap. I know, Nimrod. Um, but I go, yeah. And, and John Radigan was right there. Rad was like, yeah, I thought you threw like 90, 91. I was like, no, man. I was like 84 to 87, topping off at 89. He's like, that's even more impressive you were able to make it to the major league. Radigan. And I was like, well, I guess so. You could look at it like, how in the world did you throw 85, 86 and like do this? Didn't you say though that you had one, one, was it Arizona? You looked up and you no, were no, like, no, no, oh. I didn't notice it. My agent. 
calls me up. He says, Toronto's really interested in you. And he's like, they got you. They got you last, last year, uh, topping off at 91. And I said, I can't sign with them. I don't throw 91. I don't come <laughs> close to throwing 91. Maybe they had a hot gun or somehow God bless me for one pitch to throw it over 90 miles an hour, but it ain't happening. And I'm going to get to spring training. And they're going to go, this dude's throwing 85 to 87. And it's going to make, yes. That's how hard I throw a baseball. I'm trying to throw it 100. For some reason, it only registers at 85 to 87. Uh, well, speaking of God, Corey had this yesterday as well. And I, I want to do say this is some really good comedic timing by myself. I'm throwing the ball 81 miles an hour in a oh, major league no, baseball game Corey. trying to figure out how to get people out. Did you say God... I know I don't usually ask for you about this because <laughs> it's stupid during a baseball game, but I could have used a little more cowbell. Yeah. <laughs> I thought I was like, how much yeah. cowbell would have helped you in your career, Mike? I don't know, but well, that that was the most that was the most oh no moment I've ever <laughs> been on a mound before. Yeah. I could have mm -hmm. faced whoever I was facing. When you look up at the board and your first pitch is seventy nine miles an hour, and that was your fastball, you're like, I'm in big trouble today <laughs> yeah well it's all right uh i thought you were pretty good mike you never saw me <laughs> one second he, he's like how old were you in 2007 uh it was a solid eight that was the last year i pitched in the major <laughs> league uh, and i don't think you were yeah, had the mlb package watching the <laughs> washington nationals win 73 games that year. you couldn't even read oh uh, at eight years old you couldn't no, read i think i could uh, right. yeah uh, one more for you uh right. i think mike was talking about some sort of workout here so if you're wondering <laughs> if you're wondering that's good it's not good no it's now we had to i'll, I'll give myself an excuse it might have been 20 inches uh -huh. but you weren't able to do a drop step so i'm i'm seeing that <laughs> okay. I, I see that Man. like sometimes they let good you kind news. of yeah. have a drop step and then come your feet come together to then jump we were just like no drop step just straight two feet jump yeah. but man <laughs> My vertical, yeah. it's, it's weak, man. It's a 19 inch vertical. Man, I don't know. Still? Oh, there's no way I could do that now. How many inches now? Maybe 10. I'm going to vote for. How, how, what do you think your vertical would be? Right you now? saw me dunk on my nine foot goal? Yeah, your kid, your kid <laughs> threw away that camera in a hurry and then brought it back after you adjusted it. Like I the, didn't adjust it's like it. The guy, I promise. It's like the guy in the movie theater I promise. just I don't, shucks the phone. I don't know. I but that's it also a running start. Or a drop step. Oh, yeah. You have oh. to just two feet, don't move your feet, and then just jump up. I know I can I touch the nothing. ceiling, but that's about it. I can't even feel half of my left foot anymore because of back <laughs> surgery. I remember having a jump off with a former host in this studio once, and we both touched the ceiling, and then we both stood there and were like, I think I just threw out my leg, my back, my hamstring, my knee. It was bad. All right, I'm going to vote for Baby Noah Can't Read still. Okay. That was on there? <laughs> I'll vote like for it, too. One. Let's play it again. Okay, yeah, yeah. No, the, uh, well, it won no matter what. So here you go. baby is in the car. And I was like, I know. And that's why I didn't do it. Read. And that's yeah. why I can't such read. A yeah. um, so <laughs> there are. Yeah, he can't read at all. He's just like. Ah. Um, he's how frustrating like is that as a dad? He's delightful, though. <sighs> he definitely does mm. love that kid.